Hi, I'm Mike Kennedy. M005 Kennedy with you today, and today we're going to be talking about uh, ham radio again, and we're going to be talking about the mag mount antenna. You know, it's funny, when I was thinking of doing this talk, I was going to say, well, you know, you had one when you had a citizen's band radio. And it occurs to me that there are many people that have no idea in a world what a citizen band radio is, but we'll go into that another time. But basically, a mag mount, magnetic mounted antenna, has a very powerful circular magnet on the bottom, and it has a whip on the top. Now, it's flexible, so in case you bump into anything, you know, as you're driving on the top, it won't break. There's a set screw here, it's very important. We talked about resonance one of the times, and uh, this is a compromised antenna. In other words, it's too short. We're going to be using this for 10 meters, which is close to the CB band, which is 11 meters. But this is a 10 meter antenna, and uh, it's just too short. So there's some coils in here to make up for that, to match it. But to fine tune it, there's a set screw, and it actually cut this piece of metal to the right frequency. They usually give you a little too much, and you do that with an SWR meter or uh, if you've got the box uh, antenna tuner, we'll go into that a different time. But basically you need to adjust the length of the antenna for the minimum SWR or standing wave ratio. And you do usually do that by trimming off a little. If you're using the SWR meter you broadcast, you keep checking, trim a little, trim a little till it gets low and then you stop. And so we're going to put it on the car. Now most uh, vertical antennas like this need radials. They need, or counter pose, poise they call them sometimes. In other words, they need some radials running out to keep the uh, signal uh, omnidirectional and, and to make the best use of it. Which you can see this doesn't have, but what is happening here, because the car and the magnet are here, uh, the whole car is acting as a counterpose poise, sorry, and uh, that makes the antenna more effective. Now, uh, it would be true, I was recently watching a magazine, looking in a, a book, and the person to get the maximum output out of his antenna while it was, he was in a fixed position, of course, ran wires off of his car and staked them out at different places uh, around his car and that actually made a signal more effective. But so here we have a 10 meter mag mount antenna. We're adjusted to a resonance so that we won't have signal loss because of that. And uh, we're going to try out 10 meters today. And so we're back up on Fort Hill. Uh, if you saw the video on Intermod, you'll know that this is the site I'm 20, way to, 20 feet away from one of the uh, police department and fire department's antenna which I assume puts out at least 100 watts, but now I'm on the HF band and not two meters. Two meters is uh, 144, and the police frequencies and police radio fire are around 150 something. Well, now we're going down to uh, 28 uh, for a frequency, so there's quite a bit of difference. So I assume with uh, my uh, high-end ham radio here, that we won't have any intermod problems. But I might be asking a little too much where we're basically sitting on top of the antenna for the other station. 